Writing is my passion. It's something I live for. It's what wakes me up in the morning, in a sense. It's what motivates me. It's what, you know, gets me through all of the shit. Everything I have to deal with, everything there is. You know, it's just, it's just, it's my love, I guess you would say. I think everyone has their passion. Everyone has that thing that drives them, and writing's mine. And I once read this thing, and it basically said that if you're going to be a writer, you don't really have a choice. You're going to be a writer. There's no other job that would work for you. There's no other way you could ever live than writing. You need to make a living off your writing because you probably can't excel at anything else. And that's me. I um, can't do anything except for writing. It's kind of funny. It's also kind of sad. So, let's jump right into this. This is my notebook. It's my rough draft notebook. And it's... It, I can't write on a computer. I can't focus and pay attention because it's the whole... You got a white page and you got the black text. It's just like... Blah, 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 blah. And it, it just kind of gives me writer's block for when I'm trying to do that. So I use a notebook. I think actually a lot of people probably do that. And because my handwriting is so horrible, and because I want to look kind of professional, I have this nice little folder right here. With my name on it and everything. And it's got all the finished works. Uh, rough drafts, finished work. This is completely finished. I won't put anything in there until I know that I'm satisfied with it. Except for I have two things in there right now because I don't want to lose them that I need to do some work on. Other than that, though, I um, pretty much keep that fancy because people will say, hey, let me read your writing, and I'll grab my notebook, and I'll say, no, read it out of this. All right, you won't be able to read the writing. Uh, it won't make sense. It, it's really crazy in that notebook, actually. Lots of crossed out stuff, lots of words randomly, you know, all over the page. Bam. <sighs> when I got into writing, I believe I was a sophomore. That was two years ago, and it was because I wrote this story, and it was kind of about anarchy, but a, a dreamer's kind of anarchy, you know, the way that I wish things worked, but they don't, so, whatevs, and when my teacher read it, I was expecting her to be pissed, because she said, don't do anything too vulgar, don't do anything too, you know, and it was a story about anarchy, I mean, a kid talking about anarchy in his paper, you know, probably gonna bring a gun to school. <laughs> but she was actually amazed by it. She was like, wow, you know, started freaking out in class, and everyone just kind of looks over at me, and I'm like, back away, please. Oh, and so, you know, that whole thing of someone enjoying something that I made so much. That my friends liked it, you know, people read it, like, my dad was amazed by it, too, and that whole feeling of something I created that made people feel like, fuck yeah, that was kind of my way when I looked back, actually, I think it was this year, and read it, I was, I was pretty amazed that I wrote it, I was like, wow, I wish I could still write everything that well, and that's kind of a problem I had for a while, was I was trying to write everything really well, and I was trying to write it the best stories, and I don't want anything to be cliched, and so I went to writer's block for a few months, and it was horrible, because I was trying to come up with great things, and everything I'd write down, I was like, that's stupid, throw that out, no biggie, and uh, eventually it became a pretty big biggie, and it hit me one night, that who gives a fuck if it's cliched or not, or, you know, this is what I do. I'm writing my soul down on this piece of paper. Every single time you read something, you have to realize that's that person that you, you're kind of reading their inside. You know, don't read a book by its cover. Well, you aren't when you're reading someone's work. You're reading their everything. And I do that a lot with my writing. I like to put myself into the writing. If you're reading it, you can probably say, if you know me, you can say that this is Fletcher. This is him right here. This is all... No one else could write this. As I said, writing's my passion, and it'll be my job someday. It'll be something that I make a living off of. I don't say I want
want to be a writer, I said I'm going to be a writer. I already am a writer, but I'm going to be a professional writer. I'm going to be fucking good, by the way. Um, this may sound cocky, but hey, when you're this good, it's hard not to be. And I would like to think that lots of writing is... Lots of writers, I guess I would say, are famous in the writing world. You got your few, Stephen King, J.K. Rowling, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that are just fucking mainstream, you know, you hear the name, you automatically know what they wrote. And I'm going to be like that. I'm not just going to be famous in the community of writers and people fucking up there. I'm going to change people's views on things. I'm going to make people smile. I sent an email to somebody who was, you know, critiquing my works and... I said, N don't even worry about critiquing this, you know, it's fine as is, don't, you know. I just sent this to you because I knew it would make you smile. And that's something I love doing. Um, I had this st story about my two fish. And everyone that read it, was, you know, they had just had this, they weren't laughing at me or my writing, they were just laughing because they were joy. Like, oh, it was like, God, this is, huh, so nice and simple and I, I like to do that with my writing, I like to keep it simple, because you can get a good message across by still making shit simple. You don't have to be all this intricate, giant words and all that to fucking confuse everybody. Shakespeare, and <clears throat> all that type of business, you, can, you just need to get your message across. That's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to make the story the way you want it, and in your head, I don't think you think with those words. You're trying to be fucking fancy and be all sophisticated. Fuck that. I'm not sophisticated. I'm wearing a plaid shirt, goddammit. There's no way in hell I'm sophisticated. I'm from Nebraska. So I'm being honest, like, when I write. I think that's how a lot of people should be. I really like being amateur writer stuff, you know, people aren't fans of me because I don't really know why I like it. Maybe it's because I can relate to it better. Maybe it's because I like to see the competition that I'm going to be going up against in the near future. But I, I just love it. And I love writing. And there's seriously probably nothing more that I love more than writing. You sure you got your friends and your family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but I mean, doing things like productive and all that, I, I'm, I like writing the best. I wish that all my classes in high school were just about writing and helping me excel in that. I went back and read one of my stories from when I was a sophomore and it's really bad. Like there's a few good lines in it, but it's just like, man, this is fucking a sophomore wrote this. <laughs> and I think it's really cool to see the people that saw motiv like saw potential in me and they're probably still seeing potential in me because I know I'm not fully developed in my writing skills yet. And it's just growing more and more, and it's cool that people noticed it back then, back when it was shit. That's all I've got. Alright, that's my writing. If you want to talk to me about my writing, I'll go a lot more in-depth with you about it, but it's hard to do this while I'm talking to a camera only. I mean, I've got no one asking me questions about it, I've got nothing like that, you know. It's just me and the computer. So, I'll uh, catch you guys later. I'm not going to tell you what the next video is going to be, because I don't know yet. And I start school on Wednesday. Fuck my life, you know. But I think they'll be making, you know, I'll make more videos, because they'll be like an escape for me. Adios, amigos.